Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome here back to my channel and welcome to my morning skincare routine. I love skincare, probably like many of you do as well. And in the morning, I love having five, 10 minutes to myself to just take care of my skin and it makes me feel good and it is just a great start to my day. So I thought I would share um, my current routine with you guys here. I've done this in the past and it always seems to be changing. There's some things that like remain the same, but for the most part, I love trying new things and adding things to my skincare collection. So I thought it was time to just sit down and revisit the morning skincare routine. So if this is something that you guys would enjoy and if you do like the video, hit that subscribe button. I make videos like these all of the time and I would love to have your support here on my channel. Let's dive in. Another crucial part of my morning is also my matcha. I don't know what it is but I love matcha so much and I love telling people that I love matcha so <laughs> if you're over my matcha obsession I'm so sorry but it's still thriving going strong um, but yeah I make myself a cup in the morning I come up here and I do my skincare a lot of the times I do it in my bathroom but for the purpose of today's video I'm here in my vanity and it's a fun way to just kind of switch things up and show you guys in better lighting the products that I use. So in the morning, um, I normally don't have obviously any makeup on, so I won't wash my face with a cleanser. Sometimes if I feel like my skin needs a little bit more love and it's just very like dull and sad, I will go in with the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. And this has been one of my favorite products of 2020, even though it's very new in 2020. But um, I've loved this stuff so much. So I will add this into my skincare if I feel like my skin is feeling a little bit dull. Other than that, I will just wet a washcloth and dampen my face that way. So I'm gonna go get this damp and um, I'll be right back. Now, I've dampened this washcloth with cold water. I am a night shower person, especially because I get up early in the morning for work and so there's not a lot of time for me to have to like jump in the shower. Um, and so I just shower at night just because I've worked out and it just calms me down. And so in the morning, a wet, cold washcloth is what helps wake up my skin, get me ready for the day. Um, so I will just dampen my skin with this. I like doing it with a towel rather than with a like splash of water just because, I don't know, I just feel like it's very gentle on my skin. Even though it is a towel, you do wanna be careful to not like wipe the towel on your face, but I just really love the way that it makes me feel with the towel. It's just so refreshing. And I already feel so alive, so much better. Um, and then I'll go in with my little rose quartz roller and I love this one because it has a nice bigger one for kind of like my cheeks and my jaw and then a tinier roller for under my eyes and I normally don't wake up too puffy I know some people um, experience a lot of puffiness and I don't have that but I just really love doing this <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it might be helping like my, I just have so much cheek, you know? I just have a lot of cheek. And so I feel like this is eventually going to help me. But yeah, I don't really feel like I have any deep puffing. I don't really have a ton of, I have a little bit of like a circle under my eyes, but not a ton, which I'm like very grateful for. But who knows, if that could change in a couple years and I'll get dark circles and it happens to everybody but um, I just really like doing this it also has like a natural cooling effect the rose quartz and so it just feels so nice on your skin and so this is just another time where I can like be quiet obviously I'm talking now but normally I'm just like silent sitting in my bathroom doing this for like five minutes and I love it. I'm rolling upwards on my cheekbones. You guys saw me do my forehead I love to do. And then I will switch it around and do it under my eyes. And this is where it feels so good, oh my gosh. And this is also great to get the blood flow pumping, running through your face. Yeah, you see that redness? Yes, yes, yes. Get that blood flow. So once we've finished um, rolling, now what I'm going to do is do my toner. This is the Deep Hydration Facial Toner from Fresh, and it is their rose one. You can see I'm almost done, and it's really funny. I love Fresh. I They're probably one of my favorite skincare brands. I love their stuff, but for some reason, I've not loved this toner. I used the... 
why do I want to call it Stone Heritage? Is that what it's called? I love that one. It's from Ulta. You can get a great deal on Amazon with it. And I love that one more, so I will leave a link to it down below. The fresh one, I don't know. I can't really... I just don't really love it. It just has kind of had like a stinging effect to my face when I mix it with other things, which isn't great. It's not horrible, but it's just like not great. And so um, I don't notice that at all with my other rose toner. So I will go back to that once I'm done with this. Um, yeah, kind of a bummer because I thought it was going to be great, but it's just not my favorite. I don't really love it, but I will tone in the mornings. So, um, I will take that all over my face to tone, um, cause I do love using a toner in the morning and especially rose. I find it so great for my skin. And, um, most of the time I get on with it really well. This one has just been a little iffy. Once I've let that kind of sink and sit into my skin, I will go into kind of my serum and active ingredients. This is the Ola Hendrickson truth serum. So it's like a nice vitamin C collagen. And I will just do a pump of that onto my skin. Skin. I love vitamin C. It is probably one of my favorite in skincare ingredients. And so I will just take this all over my face and neck. And it feels so great. I love trying new skincare brands as well. And this was a new one for me. I've never tried anything from them. And I actually am obsessed with it. I love it. The like citrus scent that it has really wakes you up in the morning. And I love using a vitamin C in the morning. As long as you follow it up with a sunscreen, you're good to go. You can use it in the mornings. And it just wakes me up, makes me feel wide and awake. And I've really seen a difference in my skin by using vitamin C. So that is definitely a must. And then moving on to sunscreen, this is such an important step. Whether you are going outside of the house, whether you're not, um, whether you're wearing makeup or not, you have to have sunscreen. And so this has been a new one that I'm trying. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. And the reason why I'm not too picky about it being an SPF 40 is because you guys will see that my daytime moisturizer also has a little bit of SPF in it. So I just feel like... I like to use at least 50, so with both of them, it works out. Um, and this one is nice because, you guys can see, it is not like a white pigment. So it's nice and clear. To be honest, I don't have a ton to say about this because it is a new product to me. Um, but so far, I've been loving it, and I haven't seen any issues with my makeup or anything like that. Um, and I do just love it because it is clear. I just don't want to sit and like rub it into my skin. Sunscreen can be so difficult that way and having to blend it into your skin. So I like that it's clear, easy to go on. And yeah, it doesn't have too much of a scent, so that is also a win for me. So yeah, I can share more um, when I've finished this up, but for the most part, I've been loving it. And then after that, I will follow it up with my moisturizer. So this is the Mario Badescu Collagen Moisturizer, and this has an SPF 15 as well. I love to use both of these. I don't know, I just cannot get enough. SPF clearly and I've been using this for a while It's obviously why it will not come out and I love this. It's such a nice and easy Daytime moisturizer. It's very light, but also just like doesn't mess up with my makeup or anything doesn't ball up under makeup I love it. So this is just such an easy one to wear throughout the day and with that added SPF I just think you can't go wrong and Yeah, I've just really been enjoying it doesn't even have a smell. It smells so neutral and clean. And yeah, that's just what I love for my skin. I don't really love a ton of fragrance. And since the vitamin C has a nice citrus scent, that's all I kind of want. Um, and so yeah, that is my moisturizer. I've been loving it. And um, yeah, just a nice little easy, simple moisturizer. Um, and then what I'll do is treat my lips. I love the Glossier Mint Balm.com. I have talked about this many, many times. And yeah, I just love throwing on a nice chapstick to get the day started. And the minty flavor just makes me feel so fresh and so clean. So pop that on the lips. And then one of our last steps is a facial spray. I live for my facial sprays. I love them so much. The Mario Badescu ones are some of my favorites. Um, but this past month I picked up a new one and this is the Little Barn Apothecary Coconut and Mint Cooling Mineral Mist. And I have loved this stuff. If you guys are sensitive to coconut or mint, I know that those kind of sound intense, but they are so 
amazing. I'm usually pretty sensitive to coconut things, um, but the smell is so worth it. It smells so amazing. I want to perfume exactly like this, um, and I've just found that it hasn't irritated my skin. With facial sprays, I don't really see like an amazing difference on my skin. I don't know if that's just me, but they're not something that works as well as like a serum um, for my skin, but I will say I know when they don't work well for my skin. You can kind of get bumps on your face or a rash and you just know that like your face isn't liking it. Um, but my face has been loving this and I haven't had any sensitivity and it is just a nice step Again, to wake yourself up in the morning, that is kind of my theme because I have to get up early. It's important that all of my skincare just makes me feel good and makes me feel alive and awake. And so this has been a favorite of mine. You can see I've used quite a bit of it and yeah, I haven't had any issues with it. So they have, I believe they have another scent as well. Can't remember off the top of my head, um, but I will link this below so you can check it out. And it is honestly my favorite part of the day. And I'm telling you, that scent is so amazing, it's so good. So this is my daytime spray, again, I just love the concept of a facial spray. I, again, I don't really feel like it does a whole lot to my skin, um, but it's just for my soul and it makes me feel better. So I keep it in my skincare routine because I love it. <laughs> so that is everything that I will do for my skincare in the morning uh, to get ready for work. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some of these products. I will have all of them linked below. If you have any questions or comments about all of these products, leave them down below in the comments. I would love to chat with you there. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.